What's up y'all, Mike here, and today we're talking about how to find dog collars, harnesses, and leashes made in the USA. So we've done videos before on different dog and pet supplies that are made in America. And today we really want to focus on kind of all your dog walking supplies. So collars, leashes, harnesses, those types of things. Now we've covered in previous videos that there are a lot of retailers like PetSmart, Chewy, and others that source a ton of the products that they feature in their stores from other countries. So we're focusing obviously today on how to find the domestically made stuff. Now, I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews, dog collars, leashes, harnesses, whatever you're looking for, made in the USA, and you should be able to find our articles there. You can also head over to allamericanreviews.com for more research and buying guides on shopping American made, and make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. So let's get started today on how to find dog collars, leashes, and harnesses made in the USA. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it today. If I miss any of your favorite American made pet product suppliers, make sure to leave a comment below. And for more general tips on shopping American made, make sure to check out my explainer video, which again, I'll link in the description and the cards at the top of the video. That goes into everything from secret shopping tips all the way to really just finding the country of origin on the labeling, some of the US legislation that we have on our side that helps us do that, and a bunch of other tips. Let's kick it off with a few tips around material sourcing for these types of pet products. Now, nylon and polyester are going to be your most popular materials for these sorts of products. That is the majority of what dog collars, leashes, and harnesses are made from. Unfortunately, like I've covered in previous videos, the US is not the top supplier for those raw materials, but we do have a lot of good sourcing options. The most popular countries that a lot of brands get those materials from are folks like China and India. Leather is another popular option for these types of products that a lot of higher end pet product manufacturers will use. There's obviously a lot of good American sourcing options there, but I actually don't love leather as a material to use in these types of products just because of durability concerns as well as when it gets wet, even though it can be sealed and stuff it just really isn't going to last as much as some of these other types of materials. Recycled materials are also another good option for dog walking supplies like these. I'll go over a couple of my top picks for recycled materials a little bit later. And then obviously you also have to consider the hardware on these items as well. So the metal that goes into the buckles and other kind of fasteners that are on these items. First up is Cycle Dog. These guys are based out of Portland, Oregon and have a really big focus on the environment using a lot of recycled inner tubes for all of their products. I actually have a couple right here. I'll show you all some video of Deuce as well wearing these so you can kind of get a feel for how it looks on the dog. But they have great collars. This is one of their fatty collars that's made from a recycled inner tube from a bike. And then they also have really good leashes as well. So this is what I use to walk Deuce every single day with. It's a six foot leash made of recycled inner tube and generally works really well, is weather resistant uh, and generally just doesn't stink. Brilliant Canine makes harnesses for all types of dogs, including service dogs. They're based out of Lucas, Ohio and even do repairs on all of their products. So if you're looking for a pretty reliable harness, definitely check them out. Next up is Tactipup. Tactipup is based out of Clearwater, Florida and is a law enforcement family owned and operated business. All of their gear is overbuilt, which basically just means that they have a really big focus on durability. Did want to have a quick note on sourcing on these guys. All of their webbing, basic buckles and other items for a lot of their products are sourced from the US. There are a couple of items that are not sourced here. First up is the Austri Alpin, Alpin Cobra Buckle which is sourced from Austria. And then they have a clip on their extreme leashes that is sourced from Italy. Freedom No Pull Harness is a really basic but functional harness. This is the one that I use to walk Deuce every single day with. As you can see, there's really not a ton to it, but it's very comfortable, really adjustable, and it's just going to provide a really comfortable walk for your dog. 
They're based out of Tuxedo Park and owned by a great couple who also operates the USA Dog and Pet Shop, which is a shop locally in that area that focuses on featuring pet products that are manufactured in the USA. So if you're around that region, definitely check them out. Next is Upcountry. So these guys have a ton of products across collars, leashes, harnesses, and a ton of other stuff. Pretty much all of their pet products, and they also make treats, are manufactured in the USA, so definitely check them out for a lot of good style options. Next up is the Artful Canine. These guys are a pretty decent option with a good product selection. They source a lot of their nylon and ribbons for a lot of their dog products from the US, although they do import some materials, so their tartans are from Scotland and England, and then the metal hardware that goes on a lot of their products is sourced from Thailand. So just a couple of watch outs with them, but still a decent option. And then the last brand that I'll cover is Lupin, similar to the Artful Canine. They don't do all of their sourcing here in the US, but a lot of their metal hardware as well as their plastic products are sourced here. Unfortunately, some of their nylon and rubber and some of the webbing that goes into a lot of their collars and leashes are not sourced here, so just to watch out for them. But if you're in a pinch and really like some of their products, it can be a decent option, option so you can check out Lupin. All right, now let's get into some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. All right, so in order to do this for these types of dog products, I figured I would go to one of the biggest retailers of pet products on the planet and look at some of their top brands, and that's Chewy.com. So I went to their dog collars, leashes, and harnesses page, looked at a lot of the brands that were on there and how many products they have listed on Chewy, and just looked for some of the top brands to figure out where they're manufactured. First up, I've talked about Frisco before. These guys are pretty much the most popular brand on Chewy, and that's because Chewy owns them, and pretty much all of their stuff is made in China. I have a full write-up on these guys on the site if you want to check that out, which I'll link in the description below. All right, so just pacing through a few other brands that have a ton of products that are on this page. First up is Blueberry Pet. These guys are made in China. Collar Direct is another one that has over two or 300 products on this page. Those guys are made in Eastern Europe. Potitas is another popular brand here with a few hundred products on this page. They are unfortunately manufactured in China. And the same goes for a brand called Pets First, which is also made in China, but has hundreds of products on this page. And then the last one I'll cover is Papilla. A lot of their products are made in South Korea. All right, that's it for this video on how to find dog collars, leashes, and harnesses made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot me a message on All American Reviews and I'll make sure to find an answer for you and hit you back. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.